I'm Mr. Lover Lover She call me Mr. Bombastic Tell me fantastic Touch me on me box She says I'm Mr. Ro Romantic Call me fantastic Touch me on me box She says I'm Mr. Ro Smooth War go on people, how's it going? I bring you my second narrated battle in high quality. Oh yeah. Yeah, no one's excited. Like, yeah. If you want to know I'm to the first one, wait a few months and it may come up on a certain channel, if you know what I mean. Eh? Eh? Ne? <sighs> Fine. Either way I got a match against the Lord Lord Pokes or KGN underscore Lord Pokes. He was asked for a battle, he asked for a OU match on the Quidzat and I accepted. The original match we had um, went into about maybe 15 turns and it DC'd. So I go, hey, same leads, same moves, okay? He replies, KK. And then he leads to the Skarmori. And I'm like, what the hell, dude? And he goes, oh, sorry, I forgot. Is that how can you forget when you just replied 10 seconds ago? And then he goes to me, oh, I'm going to, um, I'm doing the moves that I should have done. Coulda, woulda, shoulda, didn't. I have to say I made some pretty sick plays at the beginning, but you know, whatever, it's fine. He's got Skarmory out and get his three layers of spikes up, which I'm not too b bothered about, which he didn't get in the previous match. But he switches into Rotom and I predict his switch and I go straight for the body slam and gain the paralysis, which is brilliant. Because Rotom can be a real pain um, sometimes. With its water, electric typing is pretty dirty. And you go straight for the Hydro Pump, and you now realise that I'm a special de- Well, I'm hoping you realise that I'm a special defensive variant. Which is why I just go for the Wish, because I knew I can take any hit he wants to dish out if he's um, a Scarf variant, which he shows that he is. Just by looking at the damage, I know he's not specs. He's Choice Locked into something. But here he um, knows that it's um, Felix my wish and I should have went for the body slam predicting the Glasgow switch in so it was a perfect time to um, activate his Toxic Orb. But unfortunately that doesn't happen so hey, what can you do? It's not really a too big deal. Now I'm predicting the Earthquake from this Glasgow so I go into my laggy across the Gyarados and get salty intimidate. So I'm looking pretty good here but he goes with Toxic and I'm like really? Which is, I don't really see Toxic too often on my glass score. Uh, but Gyarados always gets Toxic, I don't know why, what's wrong with you people? Allow him, please, allow. Anyway, I predict the Protect and go straight for the DD. I don't know why people need, people need to use um, DD Gyarados more, since it's a really potent threat in um, OU. It's still very good. Either way, he goes for the Earthquake, well I go for the Waterfall, first of all. And even though I've got um, plus one, I'm not max attack. With my um, spreads and with, I'm guessing this would be the standard um, glass score set, I know it's not going to be an Oko. I know it's going to be a two at KO at least. But it goes for the Earthquake, um, predicting a switch, or maybe he doesn't have anything, maybe he doesn't have the Ice Fang. But either way, he goes for another Protect. Now, by looking at his, um, how he's been playing in the previous previously and right now he's been making the standard plays so I know he's not going to um, predict me to predict the um, protect so I'm going to predict his protect and just go straight for DD basically anyway he goes for a double protect I'm like nah don't try that do not try that no one can get double protect something like me no one can get triple pr 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 protect like me so don't try glass go I'm sorry just no go straight for a wall's fall take it out but Toxic is really racking up now which is unfortunate but oh well and now he brings in his Rotom Wash thinking he could take a plus two um, waterfall but no it's not the case sorry or he's just foddering out probably um, to, since Rotom's pretty useless right now and he just wants to um, rack up as much Toxic damage as he can but I live with 2 HP which is brilliant so I can get one more waterfall off and take out Skarmory which is absolutely brilliant so Gyarados did a lot of work right there he's, he's like I'm generation 1 what are you all doing here? what are you doing my gen 5 OU? get out 
Just get her. Anyway, I bring Wimbus Cop, my Marley, and he brings in Volcarona. I predict the Volcarona switch because uh, Gyarados put a real dent in his team, so if any, if any, if anything's a good time to um, make a comeback, it has to be now. So I go for the Substitute. Now, Substitute's a key play, actually, since I want to scout out what he um, wants to do. Since now that Gyarados is gone, I don't have any reliable fire resist to his Volcarona, so it's looking pretty threatening right now. So I need to play very carefully, and he gets a special attack raise, which is, eh, whatever. I'm not too bothered about that. But here, predicting my switch into something else, I go for the stun spore as I predict the quiver dance, and I do. What do you know? <laughs> well, that was pretty evil. But yeah, um, I predict the um, quiver dance, predicting my switch. So now it's a paralyzed Volcarona, which. Which kind of looks like the beginning of our original match, huh? Yes, I'm a bit sour, if you don't mind, but more of And now that, he's, um, didn't, now that he went for the quiver dance, I can encore him into... Um, now, now he used the quiver dance, I can encore him into it now. And so I can successfully stall him out, really. So really, it's just... Um, me just stall him out. So hey, how are you guys doing? Um, in the chat or zats, he um, goes to me, you might as well switch out, switch out, and I'm like, why? Since I've got the advantage right now, I'm the one holding all the cards, so why would I give up my my advantage? <laughs> but well, um, I'm not sure what the thought process was, so I'm sure there was some logic to it, but yeah, well. Either way, I bring Sork, as you saw, um, you're in charge, sour, which is damn right. <laughs> so I go straight for the Stone Age, even at plus six um, speeds, I'm still faster because he's paralyzed, which is, I obviously knew that, but I guess he didn't, I guess he saw that he could um, outspeed something, which is untrue. But here I'm predicting the Shadow Ball or Focus Blast, or any special attack basically from the um, this game guard, so I switch back into my... Hexagon, my Jirachi, and he goes right for it, so, and I take that like a freaking monster, special defensive monster, which I am, he gets his Black Sludge or Leftovers, I'm, actually, I see a lot of poison types running around with um, Leftovers, and I don't really understand that, I mean, Black Sludge is much more beneficial, since if someone tricks you, if someone tricks you, then... Yeah, they get, lose an 8th of their health each turn. I think it's an 8th, or probably 16th actually. I think that's Poison Heal, and it's an 8th. Or you gain an 8th, anyway. Either way, I go for the Wish, and you turn up. I'll, actually, I am really am loving um, U-Turn, instead of Iron Heads. I think it's uh, much more beneficial, especially against Magna Zone, and... Plus, if the opponent isn't paralysed yet, so I can um, go for... Um, I can take the hit and switch out into a more of a threat, like right now, my Marle, and I can get the paralysis off as he goes for these substitutes, which is pretty strange, I have to say, but hell, I'm not complaining at all, since all I need to do now is paralyse his Infernape, or take out his Infernape, and I pretty much won this game. So yeah, I'm calling into substitutes. And yeah, Gengar has lifters. Right down stun now. It's a bit weird. But Oh and um I must say that I am very proud of Jirachi this game, since it's finally doing what it was um what I planned it to do. Get paralysis with body slam. About freaking time. <laughs> but either way he goes for the close combat, predicting my switch. Probably, I'm not sure, maybe he didn't have anything else. Fire, block. The Flare Blitz would have been a much better move, although he would have taken himself out of recall, but either way, he made the, he made his decision, now he needs to, um, yeah, now he just needs to die, really. Go for the Earth Power and pretty much good game here, so, as I go for the T-Bolt, I'll get taken out by the um, Gengar, as he barely lives for some reason, but I guess his special defense isn't too piss poor. 
but I'll just bring Rosam and go straight for the Thunder. So good game, KGN underscore Lord Pokes. Bit, bit of a dick move, switching leads and then switching moves, but whatever, it turned out to be a pretty decent game either way. So yeah, like, comment, subscribe and I'll catch you guys on the other side. And so he um, double switches into Skarmori, predicting something, and on my days the phone's ring. Oh, man.